Uh, today I have on my left here, I have Jack Krug, who's our sophomore uh, returning quarterback. And on my right, I have Brian Dork, who's our senior wide receiver. Um, you know, after last year, expectations are pretty high for you guys. I know that the coaches picked you guys to win the new large school division. How do you feel about having some expectations finally? Uh, well, it, it, it makes you feel good, uh, but I'm kind of old school. I kind of think and until someone knocks off Clarion, you know, I th still think to look at them to be in the top in our league right now. Uh, you know, last year we played them twice, wasn't really close, but you know, we'll see. We're working towards that goal of a district title and stuff, so. Um, Brian, a lot different than your first couple of years. Um, it, it must feel good as a player to know that people expect you guys to do well. Yeah, definitely. I remember sophomore year wasn't what I expected at all, but last year we sure turned it around and it was a lot of fun. Um, Jack, you were a freshman, brand new system every day. Uh, I'm a lot more comfortable uh, th than what I was my freshman year. I'm like a lot more experienced and I uh, feel a lot more comfortable and uh, confident going into the year. How much work did you do in the offseason? Obviously expectations were, were pretty high. People saw the numbers you put up last year. They're expecting a lot of the same. How much work did you have to put in though to make sure that that happens? Uh, we, Well, not just me, my receivers, running backs. Uh, we put a bunch of uh, work in all uh, all summer was going outside doing routes, but we've been putting a lot of work in. Scott, uh, the, the new divisions, um, lack of a better way of putting it, there's no nights off um, now. Not that you took it as a night off, but there were certain games you could look at that I know from a media perspective, it's like, well, you know who's winning. Um, yeah, it's definitely a, definitely a new pers perspective on things. I think that's where we have to, as a, as a team and a coaching staff, is. We really, we got to get out of the gate. We really can't afford to have slow nights. There was a couple times last year we came out slow, uh, you know, but some of the teams we were playing, our talent was able to take over. This this year, it's day in, week in, week out. The teams are going to be tough. So it's something we're going to have to uh, keep pounding these guys' head. And, you know, it is definitely a challenge. So. Brian, what do you view playing this, this newer division? You excited about playing these teams every every game where maybe it's going to be a dog fight? Yeah, definitely. I mean, last year we our schedule was a little bit lighter than we have this year, but I don't know. All in all, I think we're a better team this year, and hopefully we can go out and prove it this year on our tough tougher schedule. Um, Jack, you know, I know you get to see some reps maybe against the first group defense. Um, what do you got? What are you seeing defensively, and who are some of the guys that we should be looking for on that side of the football? Um, I would say uh, Kyle McBeth, Ian Thrush should have a really big year. Um, Cade Park, Robert Kath is, is returning, so they should have a big impact this year uh, on the defensive side of the ball. Scott, what do you guys want to accomplish defensively? I think this year we're, we're focused on tackling better. Uh, and, uh, you know, we won some games last year, 60 to 50. You know, I think we gave up 50 points two or three times. So our goal is. We want to shut that down a little bit, not give up some eight yards running. Uh, and we have, we have addressed that this off season with we're going with the new defense and stuff. So it should allow us to get downhill a lot faster, especially with the talent we have. We're trying to adapt our defense to, to the talent we have. So I'm looking forward to that, especially this Saturday will be interesting. We go with the scrimmage and see how it works. Um, you know, there's a lot of expectations players you have to replace those two. Who are some of the young guys that we should expect to step up? Well, I'll we'll start on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, we got to replace Brandon McGrainer. And uh, right now, it looks like uh, Brandon Epley is probably going to be that guy to start with. We have, and he'll be a senior this year. Uh, he had played a sophomore year and then was not with us last year, so he's back. But we have some young talents and sophomores in uh, uh, White Griffin and Lincoln Radiker that we're hoping to get rotated in there and Tucker Wolf will run, probably spell some at running back as well. Uh, and then we have, like we lost Robert or Nick Keth and, uh, but we have like Ian Thrush and Kyle McBeth replace that and Tyler Park and stuff. On the defensive side of the ball, I mean, we got to replace John Frank. Uh, you know, he was a big guy off the edge for us. So we got to find that guy with the speed and the aggression to get to the quarterback like John Frank did. And, and I, 
we're gonna, that's what we've been looking for. And I feel pretty good the rest of the defense. We've got some guys coming back at linebacker and at DBs and stuff. So, I mean, actually, I think we've got more guys, more stars returning on the defensive side of the ball than on the offensive side of the ball. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Brian, as a senior leadership ball, do you think are important for you to for some of these young guys? Uh, definitely motivation. I mean, some of these guys haven't played football in the varsity level and just got to stick with it, tell them it's only going to get better. And I don't know, just motivation and definitely just, I don't know, just trying to get them up with it and have fun. Jack, even though you're just a sophomore, do you feel like there's more of a leadership role for you being a quarterback? Uh, yeah, definitely. Quarterback's one of the most important positions on the football field. So I definitely felt uh, felt like coming up this season that I need to start being a better leader and uh, probably more of a captain than I was last year.